I think growing up, being a black girl, playing soccer, I was just playing. There weren't really role models for me to really look up to, but it was something that I envisioned and I didn't really know how, but I knew that's what I wanted to do, so it was really clear for me. Now that I am in this position, I'm really grateful to be where I am. Whether it is in sport or just in life, it is possible for everyone, uh, no matter where you come from uh, and no matter what your background is. My name is Ashley Lawrence. I play for Team Canada and for Paris Saint-Germain. Soccer has definitely been an outlet for me. When I'm stressed, when I'm happy, it's just a safe place for me. I've grown so much because of it and it just brings me so much joy. I started playing soccer um, five, six years old, just naturally just keeping the ball around with my mom. I just remember the feeling out on the field. I just wanted to have the ball as much as I could. I'd dribble, score a goal, come back, score a goal, and it just became fun. As I got older, I just always wanted to strive to be better. Witnessing the national team play, I knew I wanted to be there at some point, and that was around like 13, 14 years old. And so I, I wanted to be amongst the best. That idea was really ingrained uh, at, a, at a young age for me. When I think about my family, there is a lot of sacrifice that went into it. Just always thinking back to the people that helped me along the way, taking that with me uh, as motivation when I go into games, when I go into training sessions, and just not forgetting that. When I signed uh, for Paris Saint-Germain in France, it was always a dream of mine to play in Europe, but I knew uh, that it wasn't going to be easy. The past six years that I've been in France, um, there, there have been many challenging moments with the new culture and the coaches that I've had. Um, it hasn't always been easy to earn my spot, to get playing time. I remember I was crying. I wanted to go back home. I wanted to uh, challenge myself. Uh, I knew it was important for, for the development of my game. So that's something that I really had to work on. I was able to consistently play and get playing time in, in, in the top games. Ultimately, I, I saw the difference, the growth in my game, playing the games at the highest level, being in uh, the top stadiums in Europe, full stadiums. Uh, it's something, it's so unreal, and it's what I dreamt of as a young girl in major tournaments like the World Cup. Uh, I have felt more confident. Uh, I felt like I could make a difference on the field, and uh, yeah, a big part of that was because of my experience playing in France. I'm really thankful uh, for the past six years. I wouldn't change anything about my journey, the ups and the downs. Uh, it really has uh, shaped me into the person and uh, player that I am. Coming from Paris, coming from Europe, and then uh, to the Canadian environment, it's very different. It's like more laid back, more chill. Representing Canada is always an honor. We're a true like, family. How close we are, um, how connected we are. It makes a difference when you're out there on the field. You wanna do everything you can for that player next to you um, because it's bigger than just a teammate. Um, it's really like your sister. It's pretty surreal um, walking onto the field uh, and seeing all the fans in the stands. I still get chills. It's so cool to see the growth um, of women's soccer and uh, the fan base uh, continues to grow, and it's exciting to watch. We're really good players. We put it all out there on the field, and yeah, it's cool to, to be a part of that, uh, that evolution. Going into this World Cup, I really hope to be a leader for the team, uh, to be an example, but to also be that link for, for young players uh, that maybe it's their first World Cup. Yeah, I'm really, really happy going to this World Cup representing Canada. The conditions for our men's national team leading up to the World Cup last year, we discovered um, certain conditions that they had and we weren't aware of that. And so we are at a point where we are asking for the same things. As a team, as a collective, we decided to go on strike um, at the beginning of the She Believes Cup. And as of right now, we, have, we haven't been able to come to an agreement. We take so much pride in representing our country it's just a simple request. It's to have the same conditions and the same preparation um, as the men did, but it is bigger than just that. We know um, the importance of investment in, in a program, not just for the current team, but for 
the next players coming through the cycle. We're going to continue to play the games and uh, our ultimate goal is to continue to fight until we get um, exactly what we've asked for and what we deserve. Throughout my career, I've also been passionate about giving back to the next generation. Yes, She Canada is an organization that I started in 2017. Yes, She Can, but then Yes, She Canada, so kind of like a plan words. Every year, um, I put on an event where young people can come out and they can train uh, with professional players. They can ask questions, interact, take pictures. It's really great to, to be able to have that influence on, the, on young people. There are a lot of opportunities um, in women's soccer and women's sport, and so um, it's cool to be a part of it, but I also want to continue to have an impact uh, where I can off the field too. Soccer is not everything, but it, it's just my ultimate passion. I always want to do better, be better, and look for ways on how I can improve my game. I think that's also what is my driving force. And what keeps me humble is that no matter what level you achieve, you can always improve, get better. I want my legacy to be known as someone that fought for what she believed in, was hardworking, never cut corners, and realized that it was it was bigger than it was bigger than me. That I was doing this really for the next young black girl who's looking up to me and hopefully is inspired uh, by me and can see that it is also possible for her. Knowing where I'm at in my career now, um, I would tell my young self uh, to continue to believe, don't give up, and uh, it is all worth it.